Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for joining us first at four. I'm Christy Casciano, and we begin with a health alert in Onondaga County. There are 70 new reported coronavirus cases in the county today, and that number is the single highest day number of cases reported since the virus began. News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan joining us live outside the Civic Center in downtown Syracuse. He's just been briefed on this rise in cases. Andrew, what's going on? Well, Christy, let's first explain the process to how News Channel 9 came to this determination about it being the single high, highest daily uptick in cases. We used the data publicly available on Onondaga County's Health Department website. It shows the total number of cases. It's the tallest line. It gives the total number cumulative since the pandemic began. We then hovered over using our computer to see the total number each day, and then we did the math. We did the difference between one day and the day before it, and none of them have reached 70 until the past 24 hours. Now, the county executive is already clarifying and adding some context to this number. He doesn't want people to necessarily be scared off by it. He says that this number merely reflects this huge surge in testing that people are doing. He's not saying it's nothing to be totally concerned about, but he says it's not really fair to compare it to the earliest days of the pandemic when in May we were seeing 60 plus cases per day. He says that only 500 tests were done a day back then. Now the county is doing 5 to 11 times the number of testing. The key is the infection rate. Back in May, the infection rate was nearing 10 percent. Today's infection rate only 1.1 percent, above the 1 percent that comfort that the that, that county leaders are comfortable with, but still a concern that the number are, are it got to 70 in a 24 hour period. The county executive said it's still concerning that this happened. The county is investigating a few small clusters and one large cluster possibly of coronavirus cases. The county executive's office does say that the county executive will have his briefing as always on Thursday and we'll talk more about this then. In the meantime, we'll continue to clarify exactly what this means for the county, but it's simple. People need to begin taking this seriously again if they've let their guard down, Christy.